Hello, all. Oh, there you go. Right, um, I just thought I'd do one because I don't, I've never really done one on like the middle vans. We've done one on the advantages of a small van, which I, I, I forever was going on about Lutons, which if you're running on the Courier Exchange and you're gonna run in a van, is my favorite way of doing it. I've also gone about trucks because I'm now into lorries. I've never really focused so much on your middle things. So you've got your small work, you've got your short wheel base and all that. We're talking short wheel base, medium wheel base, long wheel base. You know, your, your midway vans, because in my mind, they're always the worst of both worlds. You can't get the big money job. I mean, long wheelbase van jobs, I've known myself for 75p. You get 65p in a small van. It takes the same amount of time. The extra that, that, that you get on the fuel, it's just not worth it. But there are advantages. I mean, we've done the advantage on the small van. The main ones are, um, for start, a smaller vehicle, like a short wheelbase, a medium wheelbase, a custom, which as I've said before, is the van equivalent of the fish knife. Looks pretty, but it's totally useless. Um, fits nicely on the driveway. It looks good. It's not gonna give the wife the hump. It's not gonna give the neighbors the hump. It does still transport things. Now in my mind, your Ford Custom is kind of targeted at chippies, brickies, electricians, people who need to carry gear around, but don't need to carry a lot of gear around, you know? Um, there is also the advantage with the weight, which is if you get a van that's like a three and a half ton laden, va laden weight van, but the van itself isn't that big, it can carry a lot more. Some long wheel bases I've known to carry over a ton. Now you'll struggle to get a ton on the Luton because by the time you put the box on it and you put the tail on the back and the van and you filled it up full of fuel, really you're looking around 800 kilos, 850. But I've known long wheel bases, so you've got three pallets to move, it's a ton, you can still do it. Um, other advantages, if you've got the right kind of van, you can use it, for, you can run the kids to school in it. Can't really run the kids to school in a truck, it's not really the way forward, but a little van will run the kids to school. You can park it in Tesco's. You can still, you can use it as a car. I think if you were clever about it, and you'd have to be clever about it, which I am not, you could probably even construct it in such a way that you could bolt seats in the back of it, in which case, you know, you could run it on a van Monday to Friday, Saturday and Sunday, it's a minibus. When everything goes back to normal, you can take the kids to the pictures and all that kind of stuff. I've got some other things on here, and not really. It might, it uses less fuel. And the other advantage you've got in like a long wheelbase or a medium wheelbase, and I think this is the main advantage, is scope. Which is if you get a job in a small van going from London to Newcastle, and then you get to Newcastle and there's a job going from a medium wheelbase, two pallets, Newcastle to London, you can't do it. Because you can't fit that in the back of your Kango. But if you'd got yourself a long wheelbase, okay, you'd have done a bit of extra fuel on the way up there, but on the way back, you get yourself a return load. And that, in my opinion, is the main way that they score. I mean, you, at the end of the day, you do you. And I always say the best way, to, if you're gonna get involved, is just get involved. Because at the end, of, you can change it. You can go, oh, I bought this, and I should have bought a fridge. Oh, I bought this, and I should have bought a little van. I'm getting regular jobs from the guy around the corner. I'm running all around the country. He only wants me to move documents. You can always sell them. You know, these things are available to buy and sell on eBay and on um, Gumtree and Auto Trader and all that kind of stuff. You know, if it doesn't work out, just flog it and buy another one. But that's my take on, you know, they've never been my favourites. I can see the point of the small van if you just want to run it for pocket money and get yourself out of the house. I can see the point of the big vans to make big dough. To me, the medium, the ones in the middle, are the worst of both worlds. But that is just my opinion, and as I've said before, I ain't the Oracle, I'm just some big mouth geezer who just started making this channel. So, at the end of the day, you do you. And if it don't work out, it, it doesn't work out. And I always say, the van will jump at you as well. So don't don't focus on thinking, I've got to get a loot, I've got to get a loot. And if there is a long wheelbase round the corner that's brand new, that's really shiny, that's done very low miles, and it's going for next to nothing, start with that. You can always change it. Hope that helps. I'm on a break at the moment, so I'm recording a video, and uh, then I'm going home. And um, you all can take care and take money.